Good day, subscribers, and welcome to Momentum channel. In this video, we're going to talk about two undervalued materials, dividend stocks to buy or watch right now in the stock market. On one of our most recent video where we talked about uh, utilities, dividend stocks, we got a comment from one of our viewers where they asked to uh, cover dividend uh, material stocks. As a result of that, we wanted to make this video for you. So hopefully it adds value and um, it's something that you gain something new from it. Let's get into this video. The very first stock that we are going to talk about is a company called Westlake Chemical Corporation. It's a company with ticker symbol WLK and it is traded on New York Stock Exchange. Westlake Chemical manufactures and markets basic chemicals, vinyls, polymers, and building products worldwide. And the company was founded in 1986 and is headquartered in Houston, Texas. Westlake Chemical is a subsidiary of TTWF um, and uh, its last trading price was at $98.16. It was down by 1.7% in its last trading price at the time of making this video. You notice here that this company does pay, of course, a dividend and it has a dividend safety score of 91. It has a market capitalization of $12.8 billion and has a beta of 1.8%. 10. Beta is a measure of uh, volatility and a beta of over one suggests that the stock price might be more volatile than the general uh, stock market. The company currently pays a dividend yield of 1.10% and you notice here that in terms of their dividend growth, um, it has grown by on average 2.9%. You notice here that the company has been paying an uninterrupted dividend for the past 16 years and over those exact past 16 years they have continuously uh, increased their dividend year over year. Their dividend payment is done on a quarterly basis in the month of March, June, September and December and their total annual payout amount currently is at $1.08. Looking at the company's valuation, you would notice that for WLK, their current dividend yield of 1.10% is 18% below the company's five-year average um, dividend amount of 1.34%. And this uh, stock, as a result, could be overvalued uh, despite its relatively low price-to-earnings ratio. Uh, having said that, though, according to analyst estimates, um, they are uh, suggesting a different story. Though from a valuation perspective, when you look at the details here, uh, from the price to earnings ratio, the forward price to earnings ratio for WLK is at 10.3, which is a lot less than the 18.7 for the material sector. Um, again, it could suggest that perhaps this company is undervalued. Now, keep in mind that the company has um, it appears to be a cyclical company um, and in fact if it is at near its cyclical peak in terms of their earnings that could suggest that the company might return back to a more normalized level and uh, in that sense uh, low price to earnings ratio might not be the greatest sign so for that what we're going to do we're going to take a close look at their earnings amounts uh, earnings per share how is it evolving you notice that a little bit of that cyclicality uh, for a typical company that continues to grow you would hope and expect their earnings per share to continuously grow over years but you notice here for uh, WLK they've had some uh, kind of in increases over the span of the 2013-14 but from there onwards it started to kind of go down uh, again picked up back in 2017 and 18 gone down in 19 and 20 and it's starting to go back up again in fact the expectation for the next 12 months and um, the earnings per share is at nine dollars and 52 cents so that could be uh, perhaps suggesting why um, the analysts have a higher price uh, target for the company the 11 analysts that are reviewing this stock uh, on tip ranks five of them having a buy rating and six of them having a hold rating for the stock the average analyst price target in a year time frame for WAK is at $114.45. That shows an upside of 16.6% in one year time frame. The lower range of the price estimate for the stock is at $93. And the higher end range for this price estimate is at $135 US dollars. All right, with that, let us move on to the second company you would like to review here, and it is a company no other than Steppen Company. It is traded with 
ticker symbol SCL on New York Stock Exchange. It does pay a dividend yield currently just shy of 1% or to be exact at 0.94%. It is uh, also showing a very safe uh, dividend uh, score of 99. The last trading price for the stock was at $130 and it has a market capitalization, the company uh, of Stepan um, of $2.95 billion. In terms of the stock price volatility, it has a beta of 0.75, which suggests to be a low volatility compared to the general uh, stock market. Stepan company produces and sells uh, specialty and intermediate uh, chemicals to other manufacturers for use in various end products in North America, Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Stepan company was founded in 1932 and is headquartered in Northfield, Illinois. Moving on and looking at the dividend payment history for the Stepan company, they have paid their dividend uninterrupted for the past 54 years. And throughout all those years, they've increased it um, every year uh, in terms of their dividend uh, amount that they are paying year after year. They do pay their dividend on a quarterly basis in the month of March, June, September, and December. And their annual payout at this time is at $1.22. Looking at the valuation, SCL's current dividend yield of 0.94% is 12% below the company's five-year average of 1.07%. While the stock may not be a very timely income opportunity due to its fairly smaller dividend yield, just under 1%, uh, that might still uh, offer SCL's good valuation in, uh, based on that comparison that we just provided. And looking at the forward price to earnings ratio for SCL, it is at 18.6, which is close to the company's own five-year average of 17.8 uh, for price to earnings ratio. Uh, and the market appears to be valuing the stock similarly to how it is in the past uh, as a result of that close kind of uh, comparison between the two figures. When we compare that forward price to earnings ratio to that of the materials sector, which is at 18.7, the two numbers are fairly similar. It is also worth mentioning that the situation like these can mean that a sizable dividend increase might be around the corner. Uh, we've got to check, take a look at the financial charts to see if SCL's payout ratio has been declining. Um, that would be uh, a positive sign as its earnings uh, being uh, growing over time. So that's something that we want to take a look at. That's why we are taking a close look at those additional uh, figures here on the screen. First, if you look at the earnings per share. So the earnings per share seems for the most part to be growing over time. There was a time frame in 2013, 14 and 15 that the amount had a little bit of decline, but since then it has kind of recovered back and gradually seems to be increasing. For the next 12 months as well, their estimated earnings per share seems to be the highest um, in the, over the past 10 years. Now, if you look at the free cash flow payout ratio, uh, how it has evolved over years, uh, which suggests the percentages of free cash flow paid out as a dividend by the company. For most companies, we would prefer to see this payout ratio to be below 60%. And unlike earnings, the free cash flow measures the amount of cash a firm generates after reinvesting. While it can be volatile, the safest companies, we would like to see them being able to cover their entire dividend amount with a free cash flow. So in other words, this percentage, we would like to see it under 60%. Uh, and for the company under review, we'd see that it's been hovering around that um, 25 uh, or the range of around 26 or 25 percent uh, in the last 12 months it has actually been around 28 percent there have been years where in 2011 and 2014 where actually it was a negative uh, amount suggesting that during those years the company might have had actually a negative uh, cash flow in terms of the tip ranks review and the price estimates for the company, there's only one analyst reviewing the stock, which has a buy rating for the stock with a price target of $153. If that holds true, that shows an upside of 17.69% for the stock. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look into two uh, high quality dividend paying stocks in the material sectors that could potentially be uh, good choices for investors to look into uh, as um, solid sources of dividend income, although the dividend amount and dividend yield is not the highest, but they've been paying their dividend consistently for uh, numerous years, and they are also showing some signs of potentially being undervalued. Um, be sure to do your own due diligence before buying any of these stocks or any other stocks for that matter. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other suggestion for other topics or sectors for us to review uh, in the stock market. 
would love to hear from you if you haven't done that already don't forget to subscribe to momentum channel here on momentum we post weekly various videos about stock market investing finances and financial planning thank you and we hope to see you next time